Hello, my name is Youssef, and in today's video, I will show you how to push identities from Azure Active Directory to Databricks. And first of all, you need to make sure that you have access to the account console and that you have the proper permission uh, in uh, Azure Active Directory. To log in into the account console, you need to make sure that you have access to the accounts.azuredatabricks.net. Of course, I will have over here, I already have my workspace already set up. My meta store is already there, of course, only uh, I'm on the only user over here. So what I will do, I'll go to settings and click on setup user provisioning, and I'll copy uh, the scheme token and of course the scheme, uh, the account scheme URL. And I'll need to go to Azure, click on Azure Active Directory, go to Enterprise Applications, click on New Application, then look for Databricks. Once I'm here, I need to create my uh, Azure Databricks Scheme Provisioning Connector. And then I need to set up or to copy the, uh, the URL and the uh, the token that has been uh, created. So let's just wait a few seconds. Yes. And then I need to go to provisioning. Get started. I mean, I can either choose manual or automatic. So I'll choose automatic. Here I'll copy the secret token. And I will grab, of course, the account scheme URL. I will test the connection. And once it's good, I'll save it. Everything is saved. Now I'll go back again to. Oh, oh, yeah. Now I'll go to users and groups. And over here, I can add like the users, I can select the users, but also the groups who will be uh, pushed to Databricks. So over here, I'll choose Ali, Ayou, Florent, Quinton, Yassine. I'll select them. Of course, I can also select the groups, but I don't have groups because I, I don't have the right uh, active directory plan level, but that's only for the demo purpose. I'll assign them. And of course, they are now assigned. And now what I need to do, I will go to provision. And here I can start the, the provisioning. Of course, the, if I go to the details, you will see that it will go and pop up or try to update this every, uh, every 14 minutes, which means if I have a new user, it will be pushed to the, uh, the account after, uh, let's say, 40, each 40 minutes. So now you see that uh, it's completed. Like I did sync all my uh, all my users or the four users uh, I do have. If I go back to the account console and click on user management, you will see now I have those users over here. And then like now I can either, for example, go, uh, I can click, for example, on Yassine and make sure to enable, for example, the access to the account console or or not 